Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be talking about the dark zones in Dying Light 2. Now as you guys know this time Dying Light 2 is mainly focusing on the day and the night cycle which is pretty much new we all know we all have watched the videos from Techland we have seen the gameplay during the daytime you have not seen any zombies around all of them are like hiding inside the apartments and everything so it's pretty pretty different compared to the first game where like there were zombies everywhere during the nighttime as well as daytime and nighttime was more scary as we all know but this time in dying light 2 we are actually going to have dark zones which a lot of people said will be quarantine zones but actually it's a uh, kind of similar to that but at the same time this time dark zones are going to be there everywhere like if i have to explain you really easily what dark zones are i'll say dark zones are those places which are not yet inhabited by the survivors so leftover places which has not yet been taken care of places which are abandoned mostly buildings and apartments and mostly military outposts as well all of those will be dark zones and uh, you know there will there were some people talking about the electricity well dying light 2 looks like it won't have electricity so it feels like a problem I'm not sure if we will be able to get electricity later on but from the gameplay we looked at there were windmills which only makes sense windmills and solar panels which made sense you know why they're using that because there is no electricity so the apartments and all those places you will see won't have light uh, so that's that's a problem right because of that apartments not having light there will be zombies inside hiding and hibernating during the daytime this is all you gotta know about the dark zones first. That's an easy explanation. But now to explain you more, dark zones are really important in this game. And the main reason is because you will have to go in and collect resources. Now think about this, you know, military outpost being a dark zone. And imagine how much stuff the military zone will carry. Like military outpost could have a lot of good weapons, a lot of good supplies, medics and everything. So you will have to go and get that anyways. Doesn't matter how many zombies are there. And that's what happened during the 25 minute gameplay shown to the press. According to one of the articles, the developer went inside the apartment to get some of the supplies where he found a zombie sitting there, tried to be sneaky enough, but uh, you know, they were not that good and you know, the zombies were attracted by the noise and once the zombies saw the guy, holy shit, there were hordes of zombies following the survivor which resulted in you know the main character running out of the building as quick as possible and there were over dozens of zombies following him behind until he was out in the light so imagine this you went inside the building the building could be really really big it could have three or four floors comparing to the size i'm just saying it could be even more you know it could be more than 13 floors as well but all of those floors will have zombies and will have nest not like dying light one like those volatile nests no nope, this time the nests are different you will have over 15 zombies standing in one nest so yeah if you try to disturb the nest you know everybody is gonna be behind your ass and you gotta run out really really quick if you try to fight them there will be zombies coming it will be a non-stop thing like it will, it will not stop they will keep on coming you will have to fight and because you know every action you take in the game will result in your stamina bar going down so yeah that's not gonna end really well if your stamina is low and you try to fight those zombies it's gonna end up really bad for you so dark zones is gonna have a lot of zombies in there hiding it will be also a good place for the other survivors and traders because they will also try to get these supplies before you and you will have to go in together as well it could be together if you you know the, the decisions the the choices you make in the game will result if you team with them or you go alone inside that dark zone so you go alone uh, not good for you if you go with the team it's still not good because it's not, those are zombies you know it depends so it's gonna be really fun to see those dark zones we do have the images on that well it's like mostly concept based images which is a military zone you can see it will be a big military zone and it will have a lot of zombies inside that just just once you see that gameplay trust me when 25 minute gameplay is out you won't believe your eyes because for the people thinking that dying light 2 is gonna be boring because there is no zombies well, you will wish that there were no zombies because there are a lot of zombies in the daytime as well as in the night. It's just the difference is during the daytime, the zombies are inside the apartments and during the nighttime, you will be inside the apartment and zombies will be outside. Well, if you want to understand what kind of zombies we have this time, well, I'm going to make a video on that as well. But I'm going to explain you why they are reacting to the light like that 
it's, it's kind of a similar, I should say, c connection with the Force game itself, including volatiles. And you know how they react to the light, right? The UV light is one of the main, uh, one of the main weapon we used during the invasions as well as fighting volatiles. So we see that thing in this game as well. We see one of one of the guy actually hanging, or I don't know what he was doing, but he was putting the light on top of something and to prevent those night zombies from entering. You know, so it makes a lot of sense that they will be UV light in this game as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be making more videos on this game like every time i get information plus if you want to really understand what dying light these zombies are like watch the movie i am legend it's actually free on amazon prime so i'll have a link for that in the description watch the movie for free get a 30 day free trial on amazon prime and you'll be able to watch the whole movie in high quality plus the movie will explain you trust me it will explain because dying light 2 is inspired by the movie i'm legend if you want to learn more about the zombies watch it and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye